again. It's a red stick. Welcome back to another video. So, I get asked a lot, what's the best clear poly gel? What's the cheapest clear poly gel? I get asked a lot about clear poly gels. So, I've pulled out all of my clear poly gels. Mo I've got most of the popular brands that we all use. Um, bar one or two I would have liked to have done, but I just didn't have any. So, I'm going to swatch all my clear poly gels and we're going to take a good look at them. So, firstly, I've got this. Not very popular. I don't see it about a lot. But I've swatched this one from Miley because it's the most expensive. Um, yeah. And I've pulled out McCart. It's in the blue tube, but it is still McCart's clear formula. I've got SXC. Uh, Model 1s. 2B Glam. I love these tubes. They're so cute. I wish all my poly gels was in pink tubes. <laughs> And then I've got a Moravan. And then I've pulled out just two cheap old peoples, Mowbray and Loft Warner. I think they're just cheapest chips on AliExpress, just because why not? <laughs> and I'm going to use Miley's Slip Solution for all of them. I want to keep it as equal and as fair as possible. So I'm going to start with the Miley. Um, I'm not going to show you them until they're cured because they're all they're all cloudy before they go in the lamp so this miley is probably the nicest poly gel i've ever used um it is just a dream to use i've got a couple of their colors and yeah it's the nicest poly gel i've ever used the poly gel from miley so i'm going to stick that in the lamp for 60 seconds then we've got macaw everybody raves about how cl clear it is everybody says macaw is the clearest um, and it's not a bad poly gel either. It's it's not a bad poly gel. It's all right to work with. Little sticky, but it's fine. Then we've got SXC. Um, I opened another one because I didn't want to open a fresh one just for the sake of a swatch stick. Um, yeah, I've kind of gone off SXC as a as a brand as a company. I think they they're just yeah a bit shitty. <laughs> but a lot of us use them, so I've swatched it anyway. Then we're going to do Model 1s. Model 1s clear is sticky. It is on the softer, stickier side. So you just have to work with your brush a little bit wetter. All brands are different, aren't they? But yeah, this is one of them. You have to have your brush a little bit wetter, which can call, cause cloudiness sometimes as well. So Moravan clear is called Pure. Um, this is a nice, um, affordable poly gel as well. They've just brought out a range of rainbow colours in their kits as well. Nice affordable poly gel kits, Moravan. Again, a little sorry about that guys. A little bit sticky the Moravan is. So now we've got 2B Glam. Again, 2B Glam Clear is so nice to use. It's um, a stiffer consistency. It is a little bit stiff, but it's a dream to use. You hardly have to wet your brush at all. It's really super smooth. Yeah, it's a nice poly gel. And then we've got the two, the two cheapo peoples, Mowbray. Um, first poly gel I ever, ever bought was a Mowbray. <laughs> and then we've got the Loft Warner. So I'm going to stick them in the lamp for 60 seconds. I'm going to give the back of them all a top coat just to get rid of that stickiness. And then we'll have a look at them. So that's them all cured, they've all been top coated, so I'm just going to go through them now. So we're going to start with the Miley, guys, shocking. I remember when I first got this and swatched it, I was so disappointed. As much as I enjoy using their colours, it's such a nice poly gel to work with, but yeah, for the price, look at that, shocking. Worst one out the lot, I'm afraid to say. So then we've got SXC, um, it's not very clear. It's not very clear at all, is it? Can you see? I don't know if this one might have gone off or not, because I don't remember it being that bad. Maybe I'll do a fresh one and, and see that. Um, McCart, yeah, we are, well, most of us know it's crystal clear. It's like builder gel clear, top coat clear. It is, it's, it is a good poly gel. It's, it's nice to use as well. It's, it's a little sticky, but not too sticky. Yeah, it's a good one. 
Model 1s. Model 1s is a clear. It's a good clear. Not as clear as the Macaw, but it is a good clear polygel. But it is soft and sticky. You have to work with your brush a little bit wetter, but it is clear. To be glam, super, super clear. It's just, it's got the same clarity as Macaw, but it's nicer to use. It's not as sticky as Macaw. So yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> Moravan again it's a good clear this is like the model ones it's not crystal clear like the to be glam and McCourt, but it's a good clear but again soft and sticky so these last two we've got the cheapo peoples Mowbray. yeah it's a bit cloudy in it <laughs> do you know some of though their colors they're all right to work with they're nice and then we've got the Lough Warner again it's it's not too bad but super soft, super, super sticky. Stickiest out the lot. But it's kind of clear. So that is them all side by side. So we've got the Mowbray and the Miley that are just... I wouldn't use them. That SXC, I think that might have gone off. I don't remember it being that bad. So yeah, the four that I would use is from the left. Macaw, Model 1s, To Be Glam and Moravan. I'd happily use any of those. Can you see they're all crystal clear? They really are. Um, but I've got to pick a winner, haven't I? This was tough, you know. So it's got to be between McCourt and To Be Glam because they're both crystal clear. But I've chose To Be Glam because it's so much nicer to use than McCourt. There's just no stickiness to it whatsoever. So, yeah. To Be Glam is the winner. Not by a mile though, just by a little smidge. Um, it's just nicer to use. But as for clarity, yeah, they're both crystal clear. They're both nice to use. But To Be Glam is just that little bit nicer. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Just a quick one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a bit of info from it. I've got discount codes for a lot of these brands. They're all in my description box. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And hopefully... I'll see you all back in my next one. Take care, bye.